Gamers y Games. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> um, come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs? I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No bullet. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> you kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. It unlocks the outhouse outside. The words don't look like words. But there's a picture of a... Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. Nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. Exhibit removed. Aw. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. I'm hungry. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good, you unlocked it. Gross. 
It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Gross. That's where the outhouse key was. Hey, look! I'm returning the key! You want a medal? Those glasses? are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. So good! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? That's my friend, Dee. Hey, Dee. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. Hey, Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Some play. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used and they started then. The current, but the old, you can still find the old kind around sometimes on a modern, that's to prevent the little flip most ink about 30 years. Oh, but the old, the word, they're called, yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Hey, hands off. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. That's a nice tree. I'm only pretending to look at the tree. I'm actually... What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You're not going to touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? Do you? You don't look... Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way! No 
you'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien score butt. I wonder where this path goes. Excuse me. Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run along and find your real parents. Don't feed the duck. I want to feed the duck! Let's look for a four-leaf clover! Okay. Good luck with that. I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. for another scurvy dog. Those things are bad for you. Huh? Told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Disappear. What? Hey, neat. Ouch. Hey. Speak backwards. Or what is yes, you know. Yes, well, I'm not helps it. Yes, you got. That was fun. Ah, oh, man, it wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. For a cool plant. A plant? What a waste of a wish. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I take it back. That was the best. Do not pick the four leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. That's our bread. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. 
lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? The Chuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar! by the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. I 
I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? Re-elect Governor Carla. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. It looks like... I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick, who can count to zero the fastest? <laughs> 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 okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. A percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes! The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now! If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Ugh, I like the old pirate leaders better. Elaine? Guy 
paintbrush. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? A little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. Bye. Bye. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent, which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Hmm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon. And your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. The sign says, at Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories. But, aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine. And she showed me she opened. seems to be stuck closed. Employees only. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to- Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. A visitor! <laughs> Wait! Guybrush Threepwood? Ha-ha! <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal! You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, 
New art style? How nice of you to notice. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic! You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time. And I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like... Sell doors? Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? I assume you'll be here when I get back? Don't tease me, Guybrush! I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Watch your boots in here, sir. I've got a few coins for incidentals. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People. People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. I'm completely... Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it. Could you refer me to a compa- Stab me in the heart! Well, seeing as you're in jail- It doesn't matter anyway. I didn't really- Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. Mutiny. Get yourself on board a worthy vessel. Gain the confidence of the crew. If you don't get- Naturally- Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time. But I haven't even got anything on- It pains me to- Okay, well, thanks, I guess. Anything I can do to... What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they... Sometimes it takes... And sometimes they use hurtful words. But it's all just marketing. I'm awaiting fi... Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you do, but I've got to think about the optics, so thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. Sure thing. See you later. Yep. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. How's your day going? It says jail rules. One, no escaping. You look like you're having a... I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. Hi there, newcomer. Hiya. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. Are these for customers? Not technically. 
But please, help yourself. That charming old guy who mans the lookout keeps bringing them for the parrot. Thanks. I'll just take a few. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. What's this key? That one is only for going in. Never for coming out. And please, don't touch the glass. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. If it is a key, could you duplicate it? I'm not sure you're supposed to take it literally. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a failsafe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. What's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Looks sort of like an eye. I think it's a chandelier. Carla. Guy Brush Threepwood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Let me show you what a hack looks like. <laughs> Pretty good, Guybrush. Right on point. It's nice to see you again. You too. You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full-time job. It is. But there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. 
I assume you're involved with that somehow? Elaine said that program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. I'll be needing a crew. You interested? <laughs> I'd rather swallow a live badger than crew with you again. No offense intended. So unlikely, but still possible? No. You want a crew, go down to the docks and hire one. Is there a government program that funds expeditions to find secrets of Monkey Island? Oh, gosh. You're too late for that one. We canceled it last year and diverted the funds to build a habitat for the rare Caribbean whining leech. Darn. There's a ship at the docks that's headed for Monkey Island. I think you're talking about LeChuck's ship. Do you want to go to Monkey Island or don't you? I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> it's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I like your stuffed, uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. It's a lot of work being governor. It's a lot of work being governor. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen. Wow, it's worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. Looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a cart. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush?
expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Swabbing is one of my favorite things in the whole world. The restful, mindless repetition, the delicate scent of old soapy water, the proud satisfaction of a sparkling plank. Okay, okay. Save the strokes for the decks. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Smith. John Smith. Uh-huh. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were gonna get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate! Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck. But he does know how to stock a ship. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays, 3 to 4. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Wood. I shouldn't even be talking to you. Can I be on your ship if I change my name? Only if you also change your face. Sorry. Hey. What is it? I'm not Guyber Streepwood. I just look like him. You'd be amazed how often people confuse us. Sometimes I impersonate him at parties, just for fun. We've never even met. And I doubt I'd like him if we did. Even if any of that were true, it wouldn't matter. The Chuck would take one look at you and go nuts. Just looking like Guybrush Threepwood is enough that I can't give you the job. Sorry. How clever. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison. Would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> It'll turn out to be a t-shirt or something. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> He's kids to... I'm gonna find... I heard the secret is that only the gullible and... Tell me about... Ugh, get lost. 
then why don't you... My grog-riddled body, I more... Nice talking to you. Yay! It's those three clowns at the back table. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? I completed the three trials. Trials? It's how they used to make their bones in the old days. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member in Cold. I'm an expert in 17... I served with... Just so you know. Oh. Are you sure I can't... Yes. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my... Yes. Guybrush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health are... No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a... Oh, well... Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of... Not as clumsy or... An elegant tool. You cannot hope to succeed with... I can't? You must cons... Well, let's hope it doesn't... Once you... And a ready me... Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood... If you... Not helpful. You must fire... Carve your... Any questions? What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course. How do I find the mop? I can't tell you ex- What kind of wood is the tree? That is some- Are you sure- Yours! No, you've got to make one! What kind of wood- I didn't. Okay, I guess- What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title! It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the- I, It seemed crazy to me, but first- Well, it's definitely a mop. Pests or garnishes? A good cook sources local supply. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. Pleasantly scorching hot. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. mention I'm going to find this no one so you'll be I'm going to steal Bold. Uh... keep up the good work thanks will do stay away from my mom looks like a mugshot stay away from that picture are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island yes It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. Elaine would kill me if she caught. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. Property foreclosed by. Oh, they're having a half-off sale. Hey, Wally. Well, well, well. Look what the surf washed ashore. It's nice to see. You. I spent. E <laughs> You're lucky. I'm. 
for a tree to make us. Have you got a map? So the cook has sent you on one. Been a while since I made one. I don't know. That's okay. Tell me again what you need to make me a map to them. Just bring me a sliver of the wood needed to make a mop. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high spodu magic in me. I. Bye. They're like glasses, only way less. Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. This map should. It's twice the value. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? Good old mazes. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too! Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait! Let him live! I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high sea? I've had enough of you questioning my order. Finish loading the ship. And Very well. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. They say the only real prison is... I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Most of this serial number has been rubbed off. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hiya. Hello again. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the... It's pretty straightforward. I think I'll browse around. Try not to touch it. Hopeless. This is the number for the jail cell lock. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straits. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their names should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. Jail is like a bad breakfast. No thanks, I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. 
looks sort of like an eye. Love these when I used to love these when I was Museum of Pirate Lore. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. The museum showcases the largest collection of pi the provenance. Feel free. To what can you tell me about this eye patch? That's it. Belongs. Suppose I tried it on. The display case is locked. There's some very tiny writing on it. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be. It was found in the Hey! I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of balls so I could... Not my great... That's a pretty wild... You don't believe me? It's not a... Never mind. It's not important. Lock. There's tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. Hopelessly lost without a map. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. 